Hello, and welcome to Morning Reflections. I am your host, The Fat Mantis, and we've got to talk about this Beyonce thing. So the rumor is, is that Beyonce was approached by Disney, specifically Marvel Studios, and offered $90 million to do what exactly people aren't People don't know. That's what the rumor is. So the the tamest side of the rumor is that her job is to create the uh, Black Panther 2 soundtrack, as well as do other music and voiceover work for Disney Plus series coming out of Marvel Studios. Um, Similar to the Meghan Merkel deal with her documentaries with Disney. Um, But the more wild side of this rumor is that Beyonce Knowles has none other been been cast uh, by everybody's favorite African queen and mutant elementalist Storm and possibly one of the most iconic X-Men that there ever was or will be. So this is this if that's true, that is the craziest thing ever. Now, I know a lot of you like Beyonce stands are throwing your arms up in the air and you're like, Beyonce, yeah, go lemonade. Now, before you do that, I want you to take a breather. After this video, I want you to go to wherever your streaming services are and I want you to watch Austin Powers 3 Gold Member. Then I want you to watch Dreamgirls, both great movies. But then I want you to come back here, look me dead in the eyes, and tell me you think Beyonce should be our storm. I mean, here's what it is. She is a great person, and God has given her many talents, and acting isn't one of them. Um, So, yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm actually really against this whole Beyonce thing. But if if it happens, it happens. I'll be happy to, to see a storm. Now, Storm's origins is that she comes from an African tribe where she was treated as a queen and a goddess. They believe she was a personification of a goddess because her weather manipulation abilities um, created conditions that were conducive to great crops. And therefore her tribe was able to flourish and be great in an area that normally has drought. So she was treated as a goddess until it was giant size X-Men number one. I know we've been talking about a lot about that on this channel. Um, very important comic, but Professor X comes to the tribe and he wants to recruit her and she wants to see what else the world has to offer. So she, she comes and she becomes one of the greatest X-Men and uh, a leader of multiple teams of the X-Men throughout the years. Uh, Storm is great. Now I'm a huge Storm person and I would really, really want her to appear in Black Panther 2. The question is, is Kevin Feige going to give it to us? Now, Kevin Feige... Uh, he's a tricky dude. Sometimes he responds exactly and gives the fans exactly what it is, almost like he doesn't have a playbook. He's just like, like he reads Reddit and he's like, make it happen. Um, but other times he, he, he does trickery. Like we think he's cast someone and then he ends up casting a different person for a different role and he could be doing this. Now, I don't trust Kevin Feige at all. And, and I have a simple rule. Well, I have many rules, but on this particular rule, I do not trust people who wear business suits with baseball caps. It is strange. It is I was raised right, let me put it like that, and I do not trust anybody who who, who would do that. I mean, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. It's uh, but, but moving on. I also want you to take a minute to take a look at Beyonce, and this is another reason why I'm like really not into the Beyonce thing. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Uh, you know, she she could be my twin sister. Am I right? Now, here's the thing. I'm black, right? You shouldn't cast me as the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., right? That wouldn't make any sense, right? Just like I don't think you should cast her as an African goddess. That's, I'm just going to put that out there. Just just think about that. Just think about that. Um, but, I, you know, if she appears in Black Panther 2, I'm going to lose my mind. Because uh, this has not only been one of my theories, but it's something I'm, I'm very pro. I'm very into the power couple that is Black Panther and Storm. A lot of people are not. A lot of people are haters. And there's this contingent of fans who are haters of X-Men dealing with other parts of the Marvel Universe. And I, I believe it started around around the movies, actually, around the X-Men movies. Early 2000s, X-Men movies come out. It invited a lot of new fans in and a lot of people. However, it created this imagery, this belief that... X-Men were superior to other comics. Like, uh, you know, they were, you know, they were idiotic. Like Avengers and Fan 4 were idiotic. And but the uh, X-Men were sophisticated and dope and you know, all this and fresh and intellectual. And I've got news for you. Uh Cyclops' father is a space pirate. Okay? You know, your precious Jean Grey, her original moniker was Marvel Girl, and she was a go-go themed superhero. Yeah, that's facts. 
So I'm saying they are not only not better, they're not any more sophisticated because they have nonsense. They deal with space aliens and demons and all sorts of things. They are no different than any other comic, and I love it when the Marvel Universe is getting along. So, I, you know, I'm all about Storm and Black Panther doing their thing. I'm all about characters like the Submariner or Dr. Nemesis joining the X-Men. This is, you know, it's fun. We're keeping it fresh. We're doing all these things. They're, they're staying true to a true comic. I'm, I'm super into it. Um, but here's what I'm saying. If Storm appears, that would be one of the three appearances that I re I'm really hoping the introduction of the X-Men are. So let's go over those. The first one, which I talked in my last video, was Rogue appearing in Captain Marvel. It's very comic book. It's very accurate to it. And it would be an amazing drama. I, I would absolutely love that. The second one is Storm appearing in Black Panther. It makes sense that she would, you know, she marries Black Panther. And it makes sense that their power coupleness would be in there. And also, guys, for anyone who's like... A Black Panther and Nakia fan. Um, no, you know I don't want to spoil anything for you, but they are not meant to be together. Okay. And the third one is I believe that Wolverine should make an appearance in Black Widow. Yeah, 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 you heard me. And that is right, because actually in the comic books, they're actually very good friends. People don't think of them as a union, um, so but they are very good friends. They go way back. And actually, so Wolverine being the eternal warrior... You know, they have this thing, one of the premises that they do is that because he's so old, which if you think about it, he's not that old compared to other mutants later on. But yeah, so, you know, he's like 150 years old or, or, or some change. And because of that, they've made him the Eternal Warrior archetype where he has appeared in almost, you know, he's like the Forrest Gump of Marvel, where he appears in all sorts of historical events. You know, the premise is used so often. You know, he's he knew JFK, and he was the inspiration for Casablanca. That's right. He run, ran a bar in Nazi territory where he secretly gave information to the Allies while wearing an eye patch. True, uh, look it up. Um, but he's, he's in all sorts of silly shenanigans. I'm willing to bet that eventually he'll do a flashback. Or back in the 60s, he was on the moon smoking a doobie with the Watcher. But anyway, moving on. Wolverine. Interestingly enough, he was present the day that the Red Room... Uh, tried to abduct a young Natasha Romanoff. And when they try to abduct her, he's there and he tries to save her. Um, he's, he fails in his mission to save her, but later on in life, she remembers him and they remain good friends. So him and Black Widow totally makes sense. Now in this, it's not a prequel. The Black Widow movie is not a prequel, but they're going to be talking about her origins. And it is possible that a cameo or something happens. Now, will he do it? I don't know. Um, I'd be surprised that that wouldn't be leaked already or that it, some casting information hadn't already gone out about it. Um, so that will be interesting, but, um, you know, let's keep our fingers crossed. But, uh, so there you have it. What do you think? Do you like Beyonce as Storm? And if not, who do you think should play her? You think Wolverine's going to appear in Black Widow? I don't know. Let's find out. But until next time, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember to keep tuning in to Voice of the Fat Mantis for more Marvel and MCU updates, more shenanigans, and more fun. Until next time, ciao. For now.